In this micro TV, we will see how to create file system devices for FileNet in CloudPack for business automation. Here is the agenda. The first part would be the steps to create file system device for FileNet in CP4BA. The second part is a demo in real environment. Now, this is the first part, the steps to create FS device for FileNet in CP4BA. First, we need to log in OCP console as administrator. Then we need to open the workloads pause. The third step is to search CPE deployee to find out the FileNet CPE deployee port. Then we open the YAML file to find out the mount path for file store, such as OPT, IBM, ASA. Then we open the terminal and create different directories for different FS devices in the mount path for file store. Next, we log in SSAE and create FS devices use the directories we created in terminal. Now, here is the demo. First, we need to log in OCP console as admin, and then click workloads pause. Search CPE deployee to find the CPE deployee port. Open it. And then in the YAML, you search file store. Now, here is the mount path for file store. It is OPT IBM ASA. Then we open the terminal. Here is the mount path. We have already created a directory named WIB for the file store directory. There are six directories for file system devices. You can copy one of the directories. Now open the ACCE. You can see that in the in the object store storage advanced storage devices, file system store storage devices. We have created FS1. That FS1 is actually the first directory. Then the second second FS device, it is FS2. And then the third one, it is FS3. And so on. FS, FS4, FS5. and uh, FS6. After we created the file system devices, we can uh, go to advanced storage areas to create ASA. You can see that here is the first ASA. And devices, it, we choose FS1, FS2, FS3. And uh, here is the second ASA. And devices, we choose FS4, FS, FS5, and uh, FS6. That is all I want to show to you. If you have any further question, please contact IBM Technical Support Team. Thank you.